Alright, hi, this is episode two of Let's Play Wakfu. Um, speaking of which, I'll get right to it. I think I'm gonna start doing it as a, uh, as a, um, more of a guide and, you know, random events type thing. Um, it's gonna be one of those kind of, we'll do sh more short videos, because the last one was, you know, 40 minutes. We're gonna do more short videos with more crucial information and just kind of big events. I'm not going to really include the grinding. If people want to see any like grinding strategies, I'll put some up. Um, but I mean, there's no point in seeing a huge big thing. Um, anyways, what I have here is this is another chest uh, in Astro Beer. Um, of course, a few people, and obviously, you'll see a lot of people are kind of iffy on understanding. You need two people in the bottom one, one on the top one, and then you just grab the chest. Um, pretty straightforward. Gives you uh, the laugh emote. Um, you get a group of people together, it's not hard. Oh, and then here's another one, actually. Sorry, this guy's trying to lead us to it and I just completely forgot about it. Um,. There's another treasure behind a bench uh, over on this side. It's just at the back here. Come on, stop. Come on, stop. Alright, so this. Um, anyways, <laughs> getting back to things. Um, sorry, my setup is kind of iffy sometimes. Anyways. Uh, Yawn emote, it's right behind the wall here, pretty straightforward, easy to get. Um, and then all you need left is learn to read, which I am covering in another video, or maybe at the end of this one, or beginning of this one, I'll do something, I don't know. But it involves a celestial gobble in the, the area back there that, that I hate. Uh, <laughs> anyways, here we go, we're gonna, might as well go ahead and leave in Karnam now, or level, level 6, we're doing pretty good. So what you do is you talk to Soke here, who used to be called Catskill, if anyone knows. Um, he, talking to him, he gives you the directions to the uh, ecosystem place and the um, Kano Jetto, but generally you don't need him to tell you how to get there. So you just tell him you're ready to leave in Karnam. And it drops you, it does a little thing. And you end up at Mount Zinnit, if you do this for the first time. Start with TV and the owl. Um, they do a little cutscene here. You can read it if you want. It's pretty quick. I'm, it, it's if you're not a fast reader, you're kind of in trouble here. Basically, they're fighting. Um, the bird wants you to go train and just be like a better part of the nation. Um, and this guy is this TV guy is apparently a descendant of the gods, or you know, he's a god's representative. So he uh, he of course tells you, you know, let's fight Ogrist, which if um, Going into the story of the game, the entire uh, land is plagued by a creature named Ogrist, um, and he causes chaos all over the place, and there's lots of bad things that happen. It's, you know, a fun old time. So, I don't know, let's go fight Ogrist, there's no big deal here. See, lots of dead skeletons. Ah, eh, that's not so bad, I'm, I'm stronger than I'm sure whatever that was. Let's go to the summit here, and you meet Ogrist. Alright, so this is kind of what raid battles look like. He can't, they're big spaces. Oh, and he just slapped your shit, by the way. Um, and you end up back at the Owl Council. Um, if you go with the Owl normally, you just end up at the Owl Council, so that it doesn't really matter which one you pick, but if you want to see the cutscene, go, uh, go with the TV. So you have your four Owls that are going to try to tell you a little bit about each nation. You have the uh, Sufokia Owl. Um, you know, and then you have the Magna Owl, the Bont Owl, and the Brackmar Owl. Um, to save us some time, I think I'm gonna start at the Sufokia Owl. No, I'm gonna start at the Brackmar Owl. I'm lying. So you talk to these owls, and uh, I mean, they're all, you know, actually, a couple of them have really cute names, like. 
Master Hoot and stuff, but this one here, Master Barney, is just the Brackmer ones. Um, and getting into the nations, it's, uh, I mean, it's a really hard choice if you're not going to make it a lot of characters. Um, they kind of, they kind of explain the nations in their own way as, you know, NPCs. Um, but they don't do a very good job of it, to be honest. Um, because the people don't necessarily follow the nation's wishes, you know. Um, um, so, oh, right away you grab the profession of whatever owl you start with, and you want to eventually grab them all anyways. They, they all give you the, uh, uh g different gathering, um, the different gathering professions. And the tests are really easy, I mean, I'm not going to even get into that, because you guys should have no problem with them. And if you do, well then just, you know, you can change that. Um, yeah. There's, so you get into your, nation, your choice at uh, Astro, which is the next nation. It's still uh, free to play zone, so I mean, if you're not subscribing, this is still available to you. Um, and it's a little area where you meet your owl um, for the nation. They and they try to give you a little preview of what the nation's going to be like. Um, Brackmar is, of course, known as the Warring Nation, which um, I find it to be more of the chaotic nation. Um, a lot of people will say, you know, oh, it's designed for war and it's um, it's all dark and greasy, and it is dark and greasy. That it's uh, it's the mining nation, so there's lots of mines, lots of things going on. But as far as warring, I find it's more getting trolled half the time, um, which <laughs> is actually quite funny. But the government is constantly fighting over power with uh, with some of the members of the some of the members of the. Uh, well, nation, I guess, is the best way to put it. Um, as you can see, I leveled up my echo float just a teeny little bit, just to, you know, just because I was doing some footage for the uh, uh, Celestial Gobble, and that's nothing special, but I'll get to that. Um, it's more of a high level thing, anyways. I didn't get anything out of it, so there's no point. Um, Anyways, we, here we are. Love enough for our little guy. Right off the bat, when you get into Astrub, um, one of the first things you're going to want to do is you look at your quest list. There's lots of quests in the story, and the story starts in Astrub, so start there. Or in Incarnum, so you can kind of go through. Uh, this one you're not going to get through until you're high level, unless you get really lucky. So don't worry about that. That involves a Celestial Gobble. All the other ones are to do with some pretty basic stuff. Like, um, and then, uh, so that you have the first three, which are professional Michelangelo, Michelangelo, and the Cross Feature, and the House of Spite, House of Trouble, those ones. Um, those are dungeons you can do. Uh, they're located there. That's House of Destiny, House of Spite, and Underground is the House of Trouble. Um, they're a little bit higher level, and you want to kind of get a group to do them because they have waves of enemies. I'll get into them later. Uh, but there's some pretty simple ones. I mean, they're just for your little map tokens, which if you have your map, you can place tokens to remind you of places. Uh, you just you know guide, go to the tavern in the center and get uh, get some root beer and it's no big deal. Um, and then the, the three big ones that take a good amount of time are walk, read, and journey to the center of Astar, where you have to read all the posters, which means you have to walk all the way around. Um, the prehistoric, taking the shortcuts, that takes a while. Um, and if you're interested, the zin it to win it. Um, and one other one. Zone of the Deep Games? No. Oh, New Quest Monsters. There it is. Um, basically you have to go around to every which corner of Astrub and do, and fight everything and gather bits of stuff. Um, and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to do it. We'll, we'll do it here. Um, basically you have to fight each type of monster, and these, it's good to uh, monitor quests because it updates pretty quickly, it's, you can kind of see where you are and things, and you can keep track, oh, I need to fight one of these guys. Not harvest, I need to fight it. Damn it, this guy took it. Yeah, yeah. And the importance of clicking in the right spot, people. Um, 
but we'll see lots more. I'm not gonna see. There's one. Um, and they're try the idea of these areas is they're trying to give you a general idea of the nation. And Brackmar's of course nation is filled with these caramels. Um, there's lots of other things though. Don't be. Don't assume that that's the only thing. Um, but you'll see lots of uh, these guys and people wearing this caramel armor. It looks really cool. Um, and um, but anyways, I'm just killing the guys and doing um, the travel travel from a point quest. Uh, is, uh, prehistoric? Yeah, take a shortcut from one of the points. In order to take a shortcut from one of the points, you have to be at one of the points. One of the points is the edges of each of these little hooves, I guess we'll call them. Um, so it's going to be a long walk, you're going to want to pick one area and just get it over with. Um, it's just for a map token, you can easily skip it. I just like to do it because, I don't know, I'm kind of a fan. I'm a quest um, freak. <laughs> I try to do, complete everything as best as possible. Um, I can't even reach him. Let's kill him with this. You can see, if you right click on your health, you get a little buff there. Your little buff bar, sorry. Um, and then you can open up your quest thing and you can move them around. Everyone has different like places to put things when they're when they have their whole interface set up, but I just I just like it this way. The basic way is pretty simple. You just move things a little tiny bit to make them possible. Like with the map in the bottom right, because it disappears during battles. It just works. So I'll just walk here, aren't you? I might even cut. Yeah, I'll just do a quick cut here. Okay, so here we found the warp. Um, got the achievement there. Warp from one end to the other. Pretty straightforward once you get to the end, you just see a little doorway, you walk into it. Not hard at all. And uh, just a little update, we're still doing the quest, and you see I defeated the uh, Astribian Scarefly and Scarefly, so they're no longer on the list. But we have to go through in, to each nation and fight each nation's monsters as well as uh, a Destiny Respite and Trouble clan member. Um, pretty straightforward. As you walk in a big circle all the way around, you'll hit all of them. Um, it takes a long, long time, but make sure when you're doing it, if you're going to do the Zinnick to win it quest, um, you want to grab a snapper fin, which actually is just called a fin, I believe, so don't, don't worry too much about that. Um, scare wings, uh, country scalp, which comes from the flowers, uh, and bibli, bibli leather, um, because you don't want to be walking all the way back. Uh, I mean, you also have to grab a bow meow tooth and a peewee beak, which isn't so hard. I mean, peewees are just about everywhere, and bow meows are in the center of the town. Um, and then once you gather it all, you bring it over to the pier, and you, uh, and there's a little cat team, which is quite adorable, who... Um, you can, you give them all the pieces and then they throw you on a boat and you put us in it and again that'll happen later. Oh, and when you're at each of the nations, um, make sure you, I mean if you want to look like the guards by the way, you can just fight them and they'll give you guard gear, just about everything in the game has, uh, its own gear. Anyways, when you're in each of the nations, um, just outside of the natural roads, then there's four little houses, um, each of them gives you... Uh, and another, that's the uh, read, walk and journey to the center of Astro. Yeah, that's the little posters you have to read. They're, if you don't know where they are, that's where they are. Um, they again take a long time, so make sure you grab them on the way into each nation. Um, and then you can just use the cannons on the way out to sh shoot you up to uh, Incarnum and jump back down to Astro. Well, look at here. We got ourselves some trouble. Um, just checking back in, the very last monster of the noob quest, um, is a member of the trouble, or at least that's what I am doing last, cause, well, hey, I'm, I'm level 8, or I'm level 9, that's level 8, I mean, even one on one it is a pretty hard fight for a lot of people, um, just cause, they, 
They do a lot of damage sometimes. And sometimes you don't. Especially in, you know, Eggerflip's case when they're relying on chance. But once I'm done this, you'll see I also have all the uh, materials I need to do the in it to win it. Um, I don't think I'm actually quite ready to do that, but... Um, maybe we'll get a House of Destiny run going or something. We'll see what happens. Alright, and for doing that... It's that thing, which is actually, it gives you one to kit skill, which if you don't know what kit skill is, it reduces the uh, level required to um, equip items, which basically is not important at all, but for a low level, I mean, once I hit level 10, we'll throw it on to see what I can equip. Sometimes it's a, it just makes it a little, a little bit easier um, to get some better level stuff. Just something nice to have around the low levels. Uh, anyways, let's see if we can get a group getting going here. Alright, so we got a group going here. In, uh, into the House of Destiny. Oh. Um, a key thing to know with dungeons is basically everything in the dungeon, um, w is pretty hostile, they're gonna attack you. So if you're going to the group you wanna try to avoid moving as much as possible. Um and it's it'll uh, automatically start battles, so you wanna make sure everyone's in, and you wanna make sure that everyone's ready and it's kind of like a lot of coordination. Um and it and you know you can leave the dungeon gives people keys again, but you lose a key every time you go in, so it requires a lot. Um, um, but yeah, it's not it's not so bad. Um, make sure everyone's ready here. And a good idea, use um, what's called wisdom candy, get you extra experience. Um, and I mean just in general. Um, do everything you need to to prepare before a battle, and it's, you're pretty good at that. So you get your group together, this is the House of Destiny, the, uh, I, I'd like to call it the first dungeon of the game. Um, you go to Astra, but I showed you where it was, it's on the map, it's pretty easy to find, it's marked. Um, and again, it's pretty straightforward, you just, uh, run through, do fight waves of guys at the end, there'll be a big wave, I'll show you. And it's, um, fairly quick, easy dungeon, but each member is level 5, um, and there will be a lot more near the end, so just be ready, make sure you have a decent group of people, at least are a higher level, because otherwise, it can be quite challenging. Um, and of course the only problem with running dungeons with a bunch of people is it can be very slow between your turns. Especially with a lot of people who summon and you know, guys like Zellers and eh, it happens. Um, oh, and another good thing, if you're in a large group of people in a large battle, 
Um, it's probably the best time to use all your skills because you can get a lot of experience compared to you know just regular stuff. So if you manage to use all your skills, you get a lot more experience than just in general. Um, in my personal opinion, in battles like this where it's super easy, there's no point. In, you know, using all your long abilities, it's pretty easy to just kill these guys with the group we have. So some of these people are throwing a lot of stuff down. I'd just be using abilities to get the most experience possible, because these guys will go down no problem. Oh, um, a little earlier I managed to kill some Baumiaos, and they got that uh, Baumiao pet, which I'm obviously going to be throwing on pretty quick. And I'll give you a quick uh, little mention right here. For anyone using the Gemlin, don't know what to feed it. Um, most, thing, most of the time if you hover over a monster, or a pet, sorry, with an item, you can, it'll let you know by going green if you, if it likes it or not. Um, but one way or the other, water, gemlins do like it, so, I mean, water is a pretty easy thing to get, so if you're not sure what to feed your gemlin, try some water. That's a pretty good suggestion. see how messy some battles can get. General quest is out of 43. There's a lot of general quests. Um, if you fight things, just in general, they'll, they can drop um, these are the quest scrolls, and a lot of them will be defeat 20 members. There's sometimes there's a lot more in-depth ones, but just generally, the first few ones you'll find are defeat 20 members. You have to get the kill on that, but once you do it, you get these scrolls, which are these years of wisdom or 10 years of wisdom, whatever. And that is times it by a thousand. That's how much experience or a thousand. Yeah, a thousand. That's how much experience you'll get at the end of it. And that's pretty good. I mean, 10,000 experience at level nine—that's level, basically. So, if you uh, if you're solo or don't have a group of people, that's a really good way to uh, to grind, because um, you're gonna get the most experience possible the quicker. I don't think these people realize how, um, how my, uh, I can flip precision works, and that's a good example of why I chose I can flip precision. 56 damage in one hit is, uh, pretty good, but it's, uh, it's low percentage. 14%, it ends at 40, which is really good. Um, but I don't know how it chooses between the two different types of hits. Um, they haven't really said anything about how it works. So, I mean, it's it's really nice, but generally, most of the time, I find I just get the weaker hits. Which is still fine, it's plus 30% is huge, but... It would be nice to know. I don't have any non line of sight, do I? Oh, I guess I do with diamond. Yeah. Oh, that's a
Destiny. It's gonna be way better than what I have now. Wish I could have equipped them, but I don't think I'm high. Oh, I am high enough level. Whatever. See, just about everything, if you click on the little guy there, has a set bonus, and each, uh, almost everything in the game can drop a set of some kind, so keep your eye out for different things and try to match, mix and match, or try not to mix and match, um, unless you see some good bonuses for three pieces, so, you know, you can search. There's a lot more stuff later on. It'll, it'll, at this point, it'll be basically impossible to try to get up there and do something before this place gets mudded up with everything. I happen to go last because I'm wearing pumpkin Christmas stuff, so it doesn't give me much bonuses. I mean, it gives me they give me health, but this one gives me a one point to dodge. I mean, they don't give a whole lot. I might as well be wearing nothing. So I'm pretty slow compared to some of these guys. But that's okay. As a little update, yeah. I've read every poster for the Brackmore one because I completely missed the Brackmore one on my way out. Um, and and uh, let's see, what else have I done? Uh, I probably have put footage of Rock Papa and Prehistoric. And that's just about everything in this area, um, before, except for the dungeons, of course. Um, and then all of these ones. Uh, between Windshaker and Dragon Quest are the uh there's mountains in it one, so Let's see if maybe I'll get to attack somebody this turn. Uh no I might get blocked. You'll notice a lot of people stand there and just wait for other people because, you know, you think that somebody's going to be starting a group. Um, if you go ahead and start your own group, just start inviting people a lot of the times they're actually wanting to, they just aren't saying anything, or maybe their chat's closed, or they're not paying attention. I find 90% of the time you can just start things and it works. You, leading the charge is a good way to go. I have a decent amount of health, no, don't I?
Oh, he's gonna block it, yeah. Oh, that's good. He blew him up. I don't know if he's playing that, but that's actually a lot better. Oh, and if anyone ever wants me to do like an in-depth, uh, quick video on any of the skill trees or anything of the other characters, I mean, I can, I know beta, I know beta, just about every character's path. What's good and what I mean, just how it works. I mean, feel free to let me know, I can get into that. But for the time being, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I have a couple other characters, but I haven't really done anything with them. Um, so far. Um, I've mostly just, uh, I've mostly just spent uh, a lot of time working on uh, my Echo Flip, and I have a, I have an Osmosis that's doing pretty well right now, but that's just because I was playing with some friends, and we'll see how that goes. Imagine everyone should be ready by now. Let's we'll start it. All right. So this battle, um, is that everybody? Yeah. You kind of want to get to groups and stick together, because what's going to happen is they're going to make rounds of units. Crazy, crazy uh, hard. Um, but if you get a bad position or your group's small and gets surrounded, it can be terrible. I found uh, a group of Azamoto summoning just destroys this, though. It's not even funny how easy it is for a group of summoners to do half the stuff they are in the dungeons right now.
Um, and where he summons them is completely random. Don't, uh, don't try to plan it out because it won't be the same. Basically nothing. Might as well double it just for the hell of it. Place one of these guys if he doesn't move is not really there you go.
<sighs> Sometimes talking to people can be very tiring. Oh, what I was might as well explain it. What I was talking to that guy about there was uh, these dolls here can do um, well. They can do some pretty decent damage. Um, later on with some bo uh, buffs. Usually it's their air-based buffs, to be honest, but, I mean, they are... Uh, once, uh, if you throw in some modification, like just some spells to change it, they can do a good deal of damage. Um, but regardless, what I was getting at is if, say, you have a choke, like, they're coming through this doorway here, what you're gonna end up doing is if you put a blocker guy there, which does no damage, and locks enemies, you lock them in, and just have a craw or something just constantly pressuring the guy. And then you just make a new blocker every time it goes down. It's a pretty, pretty significant um, way to beat just about anything. There's no way that, it, that you can lose in that situation unless the thing just dives under the blocker or can shoot over it or something. Like, you'd have to be a complete idiot to lose that one of those battles. It's kind of lame, but it's just a proven fact. It just is really good. Um, a lot of times what people uh, would actually do um, is you throw something down there and if you have like a FECA you could just set up a huge range of glyphs so that when they walk, when they do walk in um, they just get destroyed by various things or you could you could do other setups I'm sure too, I'm just giving an example. Um, I guess I'll start using some other spices to level them up. I think. My turns are pretty boring compared to some of theirs, eh? We'll get better later on when the chance starts to sink in, but as of now, it's pretty slow. But, I mean, what's a level 9 necker flip to do? Oh! Boom, well, I'm at it. Um, character level ups. Generally, I find most people are fine just not spending their points for a while until they decide what they're doing. Um, for me, I, I could flip precision is just too irresistible, I gotta go for it. Put one into I could flip die, so it actually just does it. Um, but for the other stuff, um, you just ignore prospecting kit skill, uh, wisdom. For the most part, there's no reason to ever get those. Um, I mean, unless they start adding in a respec option, there's actually just no point to getting those because you'll just eventually be have everything, right? Um, low levels, it's always good to go health. Um, I don't care what class you're in, it's just a good idea. Um, and then strength, intelligence, chance, agility for each or whatever element you're in is also a good choice. Um, and then it's willpower uh, block. Um, and perception and range are good, but you have to weigh what's uh, what's worth the points because you do get a limited amount. We don't that we don't know if there's going to be uh, a level of cap increase, but it does go to 100 right now. Um, I mean, a lot of people like to wait and save up uh, for an action point or a movement point. That's a good idea. At early levels, I don't think it's worth it personally. Um, just because why would you bother, right? But, that being said, you can get some pretty pretty good uh, combinations there. If you, if you, you know, plan it out, there's a limited number of points, you get fiber level. Makes Um, from a team's perspective, you're going to get a group of people. Um, a lot of things to consider 
Um, especially if you haven't chosen your characters, you can kind of choose characters around each other, and that's really good. Um, but if you can't, basic things to consider when you're in a group. Line of sight is probably the most important. If you're blocking each other's ways, there's no point in even being in a group, right? Um, and just turn basis. Like if one guy's a um, effect and he's dropping glyphs, um, having a craw that can push people into the glyphs or people make force people to go into them, very good. Um, having a this accurate ear that needs to stand inside the the enemy to do damage, not necessarily a good idea if the Fekka is going for damage glyphs. It's gonna it's gonna be pretty suicidal, right? But, uh, I mean, to each their own, um, if you were to look for the perfect group, I imagine having a, uh, having a Sakurya to tank, um, Sakurya to tank Croft or, uh, Haria deny, um, I'm not even gonna mention the Fekka because of the, how glitchy it is right now, but, um, you get the, the Croft for Haria deny, the, Sakura for tanking, the uh, Sedita for like boss targets because of the tree uh, it has, and uh, let me think here. Probably a Zeller for buffs, and then what's he? Five, two more. You get the uh, Osmodus for summoning and just unit control, and then you have a. Uh, well, I guess then it doesn't really matter. By then you have everything covered. You could just double up on a crop for more area than I, or... I mean, doubling up on things is really good. Doubling two Sakurus for double tanking is really strong. Um, double aiming. If you put two Ozomotus on the screen, you'll have so many guys, so many summons if you're going summoning that it doesn't even matter. Anyways, this lo looks like it's going to uh, finish up the, uh, the dungeon here. This last crop, if people finally get around to it. Um, this might end up being a video of its own, it probably is, because uh, it's done to take a long time with groups of people. Um, I have a couple of friends who play though, and we'll eventually get our, our things going, and uh, they're a lot faster, so don't worry, we'll have more, uh, better videos later on, hopefully. Um, don't worry too much about it for now. Um, as usual, questions, answers, anything, posts, I'll be around. Um, you already have my name in the game, if anyone ever wants to send me a message, I'm going to probably be throwing up a guild in one of the few, few videos. Um, and if you ever get a chance, uh, some of my other character names, everything's going to be based on Kith. If you ever see a Kith in the game, and you want to know if it's me, just, just go ahead and ask. Um, Odds are it's not, but I mean I'm on I'm on most of the day, so um, I'm pretty sure I'm the only kid person out there who is consistent with that. You won't see many people playing a character with that name. Um, but yeah, so if you keep an eye out. I'm currently playing with Becca, Becca Flips, um, Osmodus, and probably throwing a sack as well. Um, but yeah. Easy. Taking a long time to finish this guy up. And hitting teammates doesn't uh, increase things. Don't, worry. Don't just waste turns if you think that you're gonna get levels. You need to actually hit enemies with things to get stuff. And I, I dropped nothing. Ooh, so we got a Michelangelo belt. That's pretty good. Um. Anyways, that would be the. Uh, the House of Destiny. Um, uh, once you complete it, you get the, uh, let's see right here, you get a key for, for a spite and then a Twixer candy as well. Anyways, that was uh, probably a full episode there, so uh, see you next time.